Hello, my name is Douglas Robinson. I am a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today we're going to be reviewing how to investigate error messages in either the ShareWell uh, event log file or within the event viewer on your system. Now, one option that we have when we configure our application server or any of the other server servers or services within ShareWell is to log items that come up as either uh, warnings or we can also set items such as uh, just errors or only fatal or critical events or lighter messages such as information stats and debug messages into either the event log which is enabled by default or into a file and these two options for event log and file are going to be uh, independent of each other so you can have the event log uh, show messages that are warnings or above while having uh, debug or stats information or just informational messages and above logged out to a specific file depending on what your needs are and once you do that you can then specify a file name I'm going to put something in my desktop but you likely don't want to put log messages on your desktop as after you reach this file size limit which by default is going to be 10 megabytes it's going to increment your file and you'll have uh, your I'm going to do a log dot log here as an example but after you hit your file size limit of 10 megabytes your log dot log is going to turn into a log dot log one and you'll have a new log dot log file with the more recent items so after you hit that file size limit all of the other log files up to the number that's entered into the file count limit will be incremented by one and once you hit this file count limit it's going to drop the last one when it creates new ones so you'll only have up to 20 different log files stored in the directory that you're storing your log into and again this is uh, an item that's independent per app or per server or service so we can have our application server log to an application log file while having our other services such as the email and event monitor log out to a email log file. Now to view these you simply need to go to the directory in which you are storing your log file and then uh, just open up the text file that you created. And then once you open that text file you'll see a uh, very long reading of any log entries that have been recorded. Uh, we're actually not going to go through that in this video. Uh, this one is, or this video is going to focus specifically on viewing error messages and logs in the event viewer uh, because most of you will already be familiar with viewing these in the uh, text log files that you create. So if you want to view these in the event viewer then you simply need to open up the event viewer and this process is going to be a little bit different based on which operating system you're on. Uh, if you're on Windows 7 or higher where you have that start menu, you can just type in Event Viewer. But uh, if you're on version uh, or Windows 8 or Windows 10, you can simply right click on your Start button and select Event Viewer. Once you do this, you're going to navigate to your application log just above the or just underneath the windows logs section and then you're going to see all of the event logs within your uh, system now if you wanted to filter this to only show sharewell error messages you could say or you could click on the filter current log button and then you would go through event sources and you would select all of the sharewell options so Depending on which version you have or which versions you've had in your system in the event log, you're going to see either uh, just ShareWell application server, automation process server, config scheduling server, email event server, and scheduling server, or you're going to have ShareWell service management automation process server, application server, and so on. And if you have all of these options, you'll want to check them all. 
After that, you can choose which types of events you want to show. Uh, I'm going to show just critical warning and error messages. And here I can see a list of errors that have occurred or warnings that have been uh, displayed on my system for the various uh, ShareWell services. And that is everything that you'll need to do in order to view uh, error messages or logs for your services in ShareWell in the event log. Uh, fun fact, this is enabled by default. So if you're working on a uh, system or if you haven't set up any logging on your system, you should be able to find messages like these in the event viewer without previously having to configure them. And error messages like this are going to be logged on your ShareWell client as well. So if you are working in the ShareWell service management client tool, then you will be able to sign in and configure logging settings uh, for your client as well without having to worry about uh, uh, not having access to any troubleshooting information for a client. So if you're troubleshooting an issue with a client on a workstation, uh, you can very easily just go into the event viewer and you will see any uh, error messages that occurred for that ShareWell rich client. And I'm going to also show how you can configure these log settings on the client. You can do so by signing in, going to the tools menu, and selecting options. And then uh, right on this general page, you're going to go over to logging and select configure. And uh, again, by default, it's set to log to the event log. Uh, the default option here is going to be info and above instead of the warning and above. But you do also have the options to log to a file or if you use Splunk, uh, you can use uh, logging to Splunk for your individual workstation or you could log to Splunk for your application server logs as well. That is all that we're going to cover in this video. If you'd like to see other videos like this one, feel free to check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beyond20llc.